Can I just say, I really love this part of the track. This track by uh, Looper's Mechanicus, of course, uh, credit to the top left. This bit here, uh, some of the sound effects from one of the Red Alert 2 tracks, with some atmospherics very much like uh, Tiberian Sun. Lupus Mechanicus is fantastic at, uh, at this industrial style of music. Also does remixes for Half-Life 1 and Warzone as well. How is everyone doing today? How are you all? Uh, thought you only did streams on, on weekends. Um, yeah, so I was planning on doing a stream both Saturday and, and Sunday. I wasn't able to make Sunday, so I thought, you know, Wednesday is middle of the week. Some people get work off on Wednesday, so I thought, I thought I'd throw it in uh, uh, today. Just kind of, yeah, random, random midweek stream, but I fancy playing a bit of Dune, to be honest. Lupus, uh, Lupus Mechanicus, yes, uh, credited at the top left. So we got the. Hold on, I'll, if I pause it, then it vanishes. And if I play it again, aha! So the text does mimic whatever's playing in my um, in my music player. Anyway, how's everyone doing today? Kilroy, Beyond, Lucius De Beers, uh, Dark Excalibur, uh, DJ Tsuki, Rocket, Rocket, is it Rocket Head? I keep reading it Rocket Thed, but the T is in Rocket. <laughs> King Lich, Grey Boss. How is everyone doing today? Fantastic. Right. Let us then jump right in. So we played... Honat, hey! You almost missed the uh, the roll call. <laughs> Cheshire, welcome everyone. Oh, is that an elite icon, Cheshire? Nice. I'm not Game Maker's Toolkit. <laughs> Rocket head, I fucked up writing my username. <laughs> Pyreg, Pookie, how's it going? Uh, I was going to say something. I've lost it. Oh yeah, so last time we played, we uh, we started with the Atreides campaign because um, I put it to a vote in the Discord server and Atreides won with nine votes. Uh, second was House Ordos with three votes and Harkonnen didn't get any votes at all. So. Uh, since we got decently far in, in a trade, I thought we'll start off again with Ordos this time around, who are quite unique. A trade, you get very much a feel of, of a trade from the from the Lynch film. Same with with uh, with House Arcona. Obviously, because of the way the license was was laid out, Westwood couldn't act, uh, didn't have access to the actual characters. Um, it's like Leto Atreides. Westwood could not use um, those names. So they had the factions and Atreides and Harkonnen, but they couldn't use the na the actual characters themselves. Uh, but there's there's a, a fair bit of, of similarity. You can you get the same feeling of, of the factions. Ordos is basically original, other than name. And I think I mentioned in the encyclopedia that Ordos was a uh, uh, a merchant faction. They're basically original to the Westworld games. So, and this is the game where they are they're at their most nuts. This will be fun. <clears throat> Honat, yes. Uh, sorry, for the last minute, my nose has wanted has wanted to sneeze, so I've been mispronouncing. <laughs> I'm going to sneeze at random any second now. Um, yes, Emperor Battle for June Honat is a little bit tricky to get running. We do have the setup guides chat uh, channel in the Discord server link below. Um, I can do that fantastic uh, OSD audition in two days, Suki. Hope it goes well. You got to let us know. Kill Spain too much. Okay, let us then jump in. I shall switch to live. Everyone say hi to OBS. Switch to that, and then. Let us jump in. Single player. Oh, shall we actually. We did start last time with the opening um, movie. Hopefully, by the way, the audio has been decently balanced. As usual, let me know if, if the audio is, is a bit off. We kind of want it to be a little bit lower for the um, for gameplay so that you can you can still hear uh, the talking. But um, so it doesn't matter too much if if the volume is lower for uh, for the FMVs. So where are the movies? Here we go. Here we go. And intro. Seleucus Secundus. 
prison planet. Here come the Bene Gesserit with the enormous foreheads. I saw this. All of it. You have the sight. Indigo Gaming, love your content, by the way. Fantastic coverage of Westwood's classic. Oh, thank you so much. I'm glad you enjoyed it. My Bene Gesserit Welcome, by the way. Knew of my history. Of my time among the Fremen. It's true. You drank the water of life. Hey, would you blow me? Yes, you do need to get um, at least a, a a patched, in, I think it's either the install.exe or the settle.exe for disk one. Uh, I did get the, the phys I do have the physical disks. I could not get them to work. Um, but you can get them working on modern PCs without getting the cracked version. You still need to get the cracked install for disk one at the very least. What do you want from me? And it is a, it is a big shame, but particularly that you can't buy these games. There is no legal way to get these games that, that will get it to work. So, the Doom games are the definition of abandonware, and it's a real shame. But they are great games. This interview is over. You will obey us, sister, or you will die. Anthony McPartland's mother. Sorry, that was rude. <laughs> oh wait, Suki is here and knows about Anne's deck now. <laughs> I swear that wasn't that wasn't a call out. <laughs> know then that the first great spice war on the planet Arrakis has ended. Yes, so the um I think this bit is the uh the a cutscene from Dune 2000s which this game carries directly on from. But yes, the uh the visual style very much from the the, the Lynch one because uh the way that the license works is quite interesting. Um Virgin Interactive got the rights to make games based on the the, uh, the 1984 film, but not on the books, which is why the Herbert Estate then tried to sue EA afterwards, going, well, we never gave you the rights. EA was, interestingly, in the right in this, because they had the rights to make games based on, on the film, and the Herbert Estate were like, well, we never sold you the rights. That's because um, the rights were bought from uh, Dino De Laurentiis and Universal Studios instead. So Westwood could, they had access to stuff from the film. Like, the cutscenes in this game, I'm, I'm pretty sure there are a few shots directly lifted from the film itself. Uh, and I'll point out if, if I notice it. But, <laughs> sorry, Tsuki. Like, the harvesters, you see the harvester here, is the exact same design as from the, uh, the Lynch film. A lot of issues with the license of Blade Runner as well. Ah, I have not read up, up on that at all. I'll have to, have a, I'll have to read up, cheers. Commander Wolf is it? Yes, uh, I, was, I was talking with Suki about this, wasn't I? Managed to get a lot of props from the film. Ah, that's pretty cool. I'm less familiar with the film. I have seen it. Uh, I did actually, not the actual official edit. I watched a three hour fan edit. Um, but really enjoyed it. I, I actually enjoyed the fan edit more so than the. Um, uh, than the book. I think that sh that outside shot just then might have been from the film there. Lachlan, how's it going? Is ended. Another house must take its place. I am Shafla. I represent the Spacing Guild's interest in this matter. The guy with the big shiny face from the cover. Great convention, a limited form of warfare known as the War of Assassins. Presumably. Has been declared by three factions. I love this guy's voice. House Atreides. House Harkonnen, and House Ordos. The rules of conflict prescribe formal declarations of intent. By the way, normally, uh, I, I have a cup of tea. I always get a cup of tea just before we start. Uh, today, a bit different. Because it's midweek, we're having a, a nice, chill, relaxed stream. Uh, I've instead got a, a glass of rum. This will be fun. Hey, we finished um, Red Alert 2 on stream, but we haven't started Euro's Revenge yet. So after um, after playing Emperor, I'm not sure whether this will be our last stream or whether we'll start the... We might have one more stream to go through a bit of the Harkonnen campaign. Uh, but the next game we play after this will likely be going through Euro's Revenge. Broke stream, perhaps I've not eaten too much today. Uh, so we'll see how it goes. I've not I've not drunk anything yet. Right now we're sober. In two hours' time, who knows? Tell you what, we'll have a shot now. 
all of it. Always enjoyed Westwood's F&Bs. Perfectly rides the line between quality and cringe. It's a great way of wording it. They never feel like so low quality or awkward that it is difficult to watch. They're still so much fun. They're just they're just fun. They like there's there's they air towards serious, but they don't care about being completely serious. You don't have to take them seriously. Um very much that just like yelling like this. You can tell when the actors are having fun when they're chewing the scenery. Um, oh my god, the uh, the Kane's Wrath cutscenes are amongst my favourites. For that, I think that's that's I'd say that's Joe at his finest in in Kane's Wrath. We might get to Mental Omega at some point. I'd like to get through the base games of of all the uh, the CNC and Dew games first before we get to mods. But if we do get some mods, Mental Omega will be up there, of course. Drink of choice? I don't really drink alcohol that much. I have um, Kraken rum, Kraken spiced rum at the moment. But I don't actually drink uh, that or anything too much. Once more, the wheel is poised. The turf. If I usually go with, with a drink, usually just something plain like, like a beer or something. No, uh, Carling. They're not too far away from where Carling is brewed. It's quite, uh, quite homey for me. Uh, by my own forces, of course. I love that line. Uh, but I'm, I'm not really too much of a drinker. So, uh, this is, this is, uh, this is a taster for how it might go when we, when we do the, the drinking challenge for, uh, for playing Scene C4. That's not a joke, by the way. That's a plan. <laughs> Spice rum. That was not an intended pun. Well noticed. But that was not an intended pun at all. That was entirely accidental. <laughs> right. <clears throat> House Ordos. From House Draconis. Ordos of the ice world Draconis 4. Draconis 4. The Ordos are known for their use of forbidden technologies. Their leader. Carling is the worst bit. Probably. I don't, I don't really care. I like it. share a single mind. They communicate through a creature known only Spiced as rum must flow. The orders are yeah, I, I don't really get too much into, you know, uh, this is the best and this world. this drink is awful. Like, if it's the enjoyable, go for it. Orders. It's the most, mo most important thing, I think. The concepts of trust or honor. There are I think some of those shots might have been from the film, the perhaps? Of profit. <laughs> oh, so it was discussed on the, uh, the, the Discord server for this channel. Um... The worst game in the Command & Conquer franchise, universally, is Scene C4. I've never come across, and I, I mean this sincerely, um, like, I, I'm not being hyperbolic at all, I've never come across a franchise which has so universally rejected a sequel uh, as Scene C, uh, the Command & Conquer community did with Scene C4. So, earlier last year, for Renegade, Tibson, Red Alert 2, I think Generals as well, the community got together and did a bunch of playdates for mods and, and those games themselves. And I thought it'd be funny if we did that for Scene Z4, which will be mid-March? I might kick it back to the 1st of April just for giggles. And I'm, I'm going to be streaming that. It might be a marathon. I'll be streaming for at least four hours, that's the plan. If we beat the Nod campaign in under three hours, I'll probably try and beat the GDI campaign as well. We will marathon at least one of the two campaigns in one stream. And I will be doing a drinking challenge for that, that stream. I will be drinking the same rum that I have here, and I'll be taking a shot every single time the character's wife appears. Uh, do not try this at home. I will have a cut-off limit, and I won't be driving anywhere. There, I, will, I will be doing this safely. Be careful at home, but we'll be having a bit of fun. Right, house autos. Pookie, I will have blue eyes. Strategist and overseer. The occupation has many facets. Show it the fate of the precursory strategist. I have a blue eyes white dragon by the end of this. We don't speak about it yet. Thing is, for. Fuck yes, I'll be off if you do it on the. 
April 1st. Let me die. Uh, so the thing is, since I, I thought it'd be funny to do it on, on the 1st of April, since it's so Your close to the anniversary date for CNC4, um, since Your suggesting that date, people have thought, hang on, does this mean that the that this is just a, a, a really elaborate April Fool's joke? People will turn up to the stream excited to watch a, a live stream of CNC4, only for the joke to be that there isn't a stream and they got excited to watch that game. <laughs> and I find that really funny, but genuinely there will be a stream. It's not a prank. Or is it? <laughs> As strategist and overseer, you will command our forces on Arrakis. That is the directive. You will recover territories lost by your predecessor. That is the imperative. <laughs> you will acquire the planet and its one profitable feature. The spice melange. Four house holders. That is is the only acceptable outcome. Failure is not an option. Not an option is the name of one of the tracks in the uh, the House Ordos soundtrack Greetings. by Jared Mendelssohn. Your employment contract is now in effect. Total oh, wrong track. Is mandatory. You will do as are we you playing are the right one? You will command the Ordos forces on a racket. Are we playing the right one? I'm waiting for my uh, my display to catch up. Is unacceptable. Destroy well, the track's playing, but the uh, again the um, the the album artwork is not updating. Hold on a sec, we'll see if we fix this. Okay, so due to the way that this game is captured by OBS, um, the album artwork in the lower left might not update, so we might just have to bear with it. Okay, I'm scrolling around with the side of the screen. This is a bit faster than it was last time. I haven't changed the settings or anything. Hmm. Okay. Okay, we'll try that. The enemy is attacking you. Okay, so as usual, <laughs> as, as with basically all the factions, like a single unit. Bunch of their own, like, unique voice lines. And they're good voices. They're good voices. But this is one of my main complaints with this game. You select more than one unit, or units of different types, and they only have the one voice line. <laughs> okay, we'll get you guys to deploy, and... And also, I keep forgetting, Control and Shift, we don't have a different icon for it. But that's our um, attack move. Which, given how tiny the... Um, the hitboxes are to click on units has, has been a, a lifesaver. Okay, let's get ourselves a ref. Complain. <laughs> okay, and then we get some units that appear here. We're getting a Shai Halud? Yeah, we are. I, I've not been able to find any mod that does that. It's got to be possible with the mods, but um, I'm. it seems that this game just isn't, for obvious reasons, there's less interest in this game uh, in particular. So there aren't really many mods for it. I can't be certain there are any. There, there must be, though, surely. But uh, it is it's definitely one of the main things that this game needs a mod for. Also to remove the, the shield to show what, what stance the units are in, because it gets very, very murky. You need to zoom right in to see what's going on. When you zoom right in, sure it's got a low poly count, but this game came out, what, 2003, 2002, thereabouts? By the way, again, the, the, some of the Ordos units would work very well for a Cabal faction. What? There we go. I can't. There we go. These guys will work well for Cabal. Now, the first mission is identical for all three factions, more or less. Worm looks wormy. Um, it's left... I believe the game is left-click only. Um, like all Westwood RTSs, it's, it's got the, the same classic Westwood 
style. I don't think it has an option for right-click, so I'm not sure right-click was fully codified as a standard yet. So if you're used to right-click to command in RTSs, this might not be the game for you. Unless you're, unless you're you're able to like switch between, like you can get used to, to switching between them. I find that difficult. All RTSs should have an option both left click and right click. You can excuse older games for not doing it before the standards were codified, um, but modern games have no excuse. Tiberian was basically off-branded spy. <laughs> Kind of, yeah. This is basically where the the idea came from. You, you start with the, uh, the the gameplay mechanic of the spice, which really was just like from Dune Two. Westwood were already trying to develop an RTS at the time, but they couldn't figure out the uh, the resource that everyone would be fighting over. It was going to be a um, uh, a fantasy style game, kind of where Warcraft ended up going, but they couldn't figure out the the resource. Then they got the license for Dune and thought, hey, the spice, perfect. And then when they got to making their own game, because they planned Command and Conquer for uh, ages, when Dune released, it was it was already being marketed as being the first of their Command and Conquer games, um, even back as, as like January nineteen ninety three. Uh, so yeah, Tiberium basically stemmed from the gameplay interaction of the the spice uh, as a as a resource as a gameplay mechanic. The whole story of the Tiv universe came from Spice. That's pretty interesting. To me, anyway. <laughs> yeah, the, the ore in Red Alert was basically, we have a gameplay mechanic, but we can't really mix it in with a story as cohesively as as, uh, as we did with Tiberium. Uh, <laughs> yes. Is is the fellow with the with, with the metal nose, the bionic nose? And with chaos, there can be no profit. House orders will bring order out of chaos. <laughs> will you? How? Enter. Oh yeah, Dune Two is is interesting to play nowadays. My lord, treachery! Have you lost your mind? On your feet, general. <laughs> I am no face dancer. It speaks with the Emperor's voice. I am Carino in all ways except one. I am not Carino. <laughs> Tell me your Where are you? Okay, I've never seen his FMV before. That was fantastic. I am a genetic duplicate. A Gola. Is that true? Genetic sample. Oh, the track is, is D2K, is it? He smuggled from Kaiten by Talaxus Spies. That's neat. These have been purchased by. Respect. Your emperor could return to his throne. A campaign of propaganda could extend. Captain Disillusion, yeah. <laughs> you lost your nose, General. This <laughs> creature was born of the Talaxu flesh bats. It is D2K fitting by prefer Emperor SD. I love callbacks like this. I love when HM2 was played in, in uh, Red Alert 3. Um, but yeah, the, the, uh, the OST from Emperor is just phenomenal throughout. A lot of people say that um, that David Arkenstone's um, Harkonnen music is, is the best. And I, I'm not going to argue against that. Personally, though, I I most love uh, Jared Mendelssohn's all those tracks, which we'll get to a couple um, later on in the stream once I uh, I fix the music. Epic 40k final liberation. Uh, I'm afraid I've never heard of that. Other than like Warhammer 40k, I, I presume it's in that universe. You have performed satisfactorily. I am directed by the executrix to reveal classified information at this time. The Gola is conditioned to be loyal to House Ordos. When House Ordos defeats its enemies, the Gola will be placed on the An advanced Viceroid. Emperor. The executrix will remain the true leaders of the Empire. 
This track is D2K as well, isn't it? The planet is infested by sentient nomads, the Fremen. They survive by wearing water reclamation systems. These exodermal units are called still suits. These creatures are of little use to the Ordos. They were walking without rhythm there, I just noticed. But oh, they're running with rhythm there. With your <laughs> Destroy them. That is the directive. Okay. Oh no, I'm a complete moron. The uh, the music has been playing throughout. That's why I was playing in the cutscene. We've been praising it, and I've ah, I thought it had stopped. I thought the music had stopped. I'm a fool. I'm a total fool. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we could hear the music. I thought it had stopped. I thought it had stopped before the uh, the FMV started. Well, I'm a moron. Anyway, we'll pretend that worked perfectly. <laughs> Right, here we are, Ordos. Who shall we fight with our hyperactive red cursor here? Let's take this area here from the Harkonnen, because we fought against the Atreides just then. This <laughs> fit the middle of the cutscene, yeah. No data on installations in this area. This area is currently uncharted. This arrow is nuts. Okay, let's go. Fremen simplicity will be used to acquire this territory. At great expense, a Gola bioform of a Fremen prophet has been created. Okay. Infiltrate the Fremen settlement and deliver the Gola. Our strategists believe the Gola may persuade the Fremen to join our battle. The Gola must be protected. Ensure that our efforts are not squandered. Capture the territory. That is the imperative. Million dollar idea. Dune remix album done in smooth jazz called Spice Melange. <laughs> That's fantastic. Okay. So we need to deliver a Gola to a Fremen uh, outpost. Here it is. Here's our low poly Fremen. That insurrection will follow. Okay, music should now be playing, if I've done this correctly. Uh, but the uh, the album art artwork might not update. Just uh, so like I um, I have the volume extremely low on my end, so I can't hear exactly what's going on. Uh, just so it doesn't pick up on the mic, but it should be decently, hopefully decently uh, leveled on your end. Let me know if it's not, of course. Here's some spice. Okay. Deploy, please. I like all the MCVs like drill themed in this game. Yeah, take the money, don't spray it with gas. Okay. Oh, this is very futuristic. Look at this. This is fancy, isn't it? Sound was okay? Okay, fantastic. Classic Dune wind traps. Love them. Ref. Got some more monies there. And Ordos have vehicles that can go over these, uh. These, like. Sinking sands, I guess it is, maybe? I don't know what it is. Shif weird, like, shifting sand that no units can go over. Nicely animated, considering water on, uh. On. Um. Caladan isn't animated at all. It's just like a. a, a plain bitmap. Which you can you can forgive, of course. I'm not complaining or anything. But then this stuff is animated and it looks quite nice. Even if it's just like a shifting, like, it's the one image, but it just wobbles about a bit. It's effective enough. Okay. Ref active. Now, where is our... Is this our Gola? There's our Gola. Okay. You can stand there so we know where you are. You can be on a different group. Let's then get a factory. Sandworm. Uh, no, I don't think we've seen one. Unless you mean this. Uh, I don't think so. 
Homeworld series. Um, I'm primarily planning on going through the CMC and Dune series first. Once we've completed that, I'll start branching out into possibly mods for those. Definitely a lot of other RTSs, particularly the old ones. Uh, KKND I want to get to. The Petroglyph games like um, Universe at War and especially Grey Goo. I really like Grey Goo. I'm just not too familiar with them. Uh, and games like that I will definitely get to. Homeworld, I know less about. I'm I'm less certain that I will. But uh, I can certainly add it to the list. Um, some games like the, the Blizzard games, will I'll probably bring those forward. And, uh, and try those as well. Because those are... Um, those are games I, I very popular for obvious reasons I, that I've just never played, really. Can we get into it? Fair enough. I, I've not got far, so I, I don't really have much context for that game. But I'm, I am looking forward to it, and the little that I have played, uh, it's been fun. It's difficult for me to play, though, because it is right-click only. And this is why I'm less familiar with non-Westward RTSs. They are, um... Like, I can't really play them. Okay. We don't need to build up. We can just get this Gola to... Whoop, to the village. What? Hello there. Is like a Harkonnen scout? Get him. There we go. Okay. Escort this fella up to here. another pad. So someone said the pads give us an extra harvester. Yes! We have two harvesters now. Oh, that's good. That's good, isn't it? You, you can't get Universal War anywhere. I have a physical disc of it. I can't remember if you can get the physical discs working or you have to quote-unquote improvise as well. Um, but I do have it running. Uh, I can't remember how. I think that was quite involved as well. Oh, okay, so that was the... Okay, so the pad, the extra um, refinery pads take power. Okay, so we got the Gola 2. Ah, nice. Nice. Okay, good. Come on, the Fremen. That's not bad, is it? Oh, and let's open up our uh, map as well. Okay, everyone on one big group. Yeah, unfortunately, just it's just the way that it is with uh, with with these abandonware games. You don't really have much choice. And it really is a shame. Okay, we have this. Okay, we've got three harvesters, so we don't need to get another one. Let's go laser tanks. Okay. Blow up the Harkonnen, shall we? Why not? Why not indeed? By the way, was this the first... Uh, Westwood's RTS to have waypoints, or did Red Alert 2 have waypoints? Or did TS have waypoints? I don't, I don't quite remember that it did. Whoa, okay. There's a wormy bugger. Actually, can we, can we tell it to bugger off? Concrete time. Day is saved. There we go. Did enough damage that it went... Ah, I'm good. Okay, which way is the Harkonnen base? We'll go over here. Relic 2 had them. Okay, good. Fair enough. Construction started. 0k, 0ad, etc. I'm not familiar with those. Okay, um, if you have like suggestions for like really obscure RTSs... Um, absolutely let me know in the, uh, uh, we have a suggestions, uh, channel in the, in the Discord server. Feel free to drop any, like, suggested RTSs you'd like me to check out. Is this, like, extra? More of the Fremen. 
Okay, th those are like AI command from and they'll attack the enemy. Cool. What the hell is this? This is a civvy building. Like oil derricks. Hello, Harkonnen. Or reverse engineering Dune 1. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, we need to get to that game at some point. I, I've only played like half an hour or so to get some footage for a video. Um, but we need to play that game at some point, definitely. These buzzsaw units, by the way, very, very much something that would work for a um, a, a possible uh, cabal faction as well. I call those out in um, in the the CNC four rewrite video. Okay, attack the infantry. Because this is the thing. This is one of the main problems with this game. It is a bit unfortunate. Is that the readability diminishes significantly. With sprite-based games, you could always tell what something was just at a glance. But with 3D games, like, if I get rid of the, the overlay, like, at least there's there's a, a bit of a glow filter to, to separate this, but the uh, the unit, the infantry are generally very similar in this game. So if you compare the, uh, the Atreides rifle infantry with the, the Atreides rocket infantry, there's basically nothing in it. Especially when you zoom this far out. Because this is a playably zoomed out distance. I like this distance. But you have to zoom right in to see what's going on. The vehicles are at least the better. Um, but then when you select, you get the the health bar, which is quite inventive. But it's it it makes readability very difficult, especially when you also have the uh, the guard symbol. Ah, we can remove it. That'll affect how the units uh, act as well. There we go. Search of the next real RTS title after 2007 as no one makes really good base economy ones. Yeah. Yeah, I strongly agree. The map having seized it. So, um, some animations are, like, uh... They're like tick based, so because well not um like frame rate based. So because I'm I'm running this this game on a much more powerful computer than this game was built for, some animations like the map just freak out. Because they, they don't have like a limiter or anything. Same for like these arrows here and this animation is supposed to go a lot slower. Okay, let's defend this region. You will receive further briefing during the conflict. Ah, ah, Congrats. welcome. <laughs> no strings live, this is new. <laughs> Commendable. The Fremen wish to discuss an alliance with us. Commendable. Prepare your troops for the assault. Yeah, basically since StarCraft 2, um, the RTS genre just kind of stopped. And it's a real shame. Prepare your troops for the assault. So we are defending here. So first of all, let's get another ref pad. Then we'll get factory. Play this when it released. The graphics were amazing. Wow. That's amazing. So I'm quite new to the uh, the Dune series. I say new. Uh, I've 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 only been playing them for the last two three years or so. Um, that's really my like the, the length of my experience with all uh, non CNC RTSs essentially. Let's get some some chem troops. Since we're defending, I'll get some infantry. Yeah, the graphics for the age are decent, to be fair. And really, they're still perfectly serviceable. Like, low poly and uh, and low uh, uh, resolution textures, but still, for the age, is decent. Let's go. Extra ref pad, and now we can get... What should we rush out? Let's get tanks. What thing is this? An APC. 
It's got a gun, so it's good. Your group one. Okay, actually, we'll have the, the APC on group three and have a scout around, shall we? Textures are clean, which hold up well, yeah. Only competitor was uh, em Empire Empire Earth. Empire Earth, I'm not familiar with that. Oh, we're just having a nosy with this unit. Fast unit, expendable. We're good. Aged better than CNC Generals. You know, I'd agree. I think I would agree. Generals, graphically wise, has not aged well at all. And graphics certainly aren't everything. We all know that. We placed a false prophet among the Fremen population. He approaches under the pretense of negotiating peace. Okay. He has important information. He must be protected and escorted out of the region. Okay. So we've got to escort these guys. Don't let them die. Okay, you're doing the scouting for us. That's very nice of you. And there's the Atreides. Okay, so yellow team is on our team. Okay. Yeah, this is the animation on the radar. Like, I love the way that this is all designed, but the animations are definitely a lot too fast. So there's the Atreides up there. Okay. Could sort of use a fun patch, yeah. Really, it really could. But uh, I get that it's also a less one of the less popular games. So, um, fan patches happen less often, of course. Okay, do we need... Can we get another... Okay, so I got them all. Okay, good. We can upgrade the factory. Actually, we'll stick with tanks for this one. Transmitting from and data. This will make it... It's easier to manipulate them. Okay. So the animations you're seeing here, the actual unit animations, are actually locked, I think, either 15 or 30 frames. It's difficult to, to quite tell. The game is, itself is actually running on my end at 100, uh, 144 frames. And you're watching the stream at 60. Uh, hello there. There we go. Aha, we have reinforcements. Hold on. These are yellow as well. The Fremen friendlies were yellow. No, no, I, I've I've locked to uh, to sixty. It's it's like tied to the um the the power of the computer. Okay. So I'll look at the radar instead. So these yellow ones are the uh, the AI friendlies. Warzone, that's definitely one we need to get to. That scout just get run over by the harvester accidentally. Okay, the Gola has been delivered safely and is away. We can now blow up Atreides. You got it. The reinforcement number in the briefing works like this. If you have one and the enemy has three, it means you get reinforcements every three minutes and they get them every one minute. Ah! I did not know that's how it worked. Thank you for the information. I'll drink to that. Ooh. There's basically no army here. Okay, we'll take the harvester out of the way first, because he'll run over our guys. Bridget, thank you so much for the uh, the the heads up. Uh, for for this, it's okay because the game itself runs 144. Um, I can't lock my display to 120, so I've only got 144 or 60 as options. For every other game I stream, uh, I, I lock my display resolution to 60. 
to try and, and stop that um, the, uh, the the frame dropping that you're talking about because that has happened before and it did take me a while to learn that lesson. Um, that's a lesson to anyone else. If you stream, if you stream or record with OBS or basically anything else, and your recording frame rate is not a uh, a factor of your display's refresh rate, make sure that it is, or you will drop frames. Um, so because I'm playing 144, it should look fine on your end, capturing at 60. Um, but if the game itself is 60, and I'm playing 144 and, re and capturing at 60, I drop a lot of frames. So I, I am now, I'm now familiar with that, don't worry. But it should be fine for this game, and also locking this game to 60 really messes up the mouse for some reason. Otherwise I will be playing at 60 anyway. Reinforcements are adequate, great ones. When you can frame limit with your graphics card software. Yeah, in uh, in NVIDIA graphics settings, I only get the options for 144 and 60. So I'm not sure if I'm looking in the wrong place, but I am in the the the, cap, uh, the uh, graphics card settings. I, I strongly appreciate the heads up, though. Thank you. we reach Arrakis. That is the directive. I would not presume to question the judgment of the executive. I like that the weird way of that is the directive. I'm pretty sure that's the way that the the so Ordos the the um function. whoever it was, I don't know if it was the Executrix in the Dune 2K uh FMVs. But that guy had had the weird way of uh, of talking as well. You have been given the mission. <laughs> um, if you value your contract, you can your life, uh, you limit some care. displays to 50. It'll depend on, on the display. Like I think when I had a CRT hooked up, uh, it did have 50 as an option. I, I seem to recall that. M most modern uh, displays Enemy generally are like 60 and up. So it's like 50 hertz is more so for like TV and stuff. Computer displays are generally okay with 60 and stuff like that. A bodyguard is also present. Rely on stealth rather than strength to complete this mission. Well, yeah, they got a bit too close to that barrel there. The FMV still look crisp, yeah. There we go. So I believe the FMVs in this game are bink, which makes them easier to play around with. I might see if I can look look into upscaling some of these cutscenes, but um, the, the upscaling process for cutscenes is is very time consuming, which is why it's taken me so long on the uh, the Red Alert Two ones. But I would like to get to them. Do I get this unit? It's an auto's APC. You want to kill that guy? There we go. There we go. Okay, so our... Do, do, do. Two engineers have been assigned to you. Bodyguard is also... Oh, okay, so the guys that ran past... Don't have weapons. Okay, there's our engines. You can go in there. Our purpose is observation. Scout. Ready to move. So these are the only attacking guys. We are at your command. Area scan commencing. Okay, are you? S As ordered. Whoa, boy. <laughs> okay. We don't need to go up there. Okay, they are just going to attack me anyway. Hmm. You guys were way too close. Okay. We're in trouble. We might need to restart this. <laughs> Everything was bink back in there. Things are still bink. If you played um, the uh, the remaster collection, the FMVs in that game are bink 2.5. Uh, Red Alert 2, which was I think the first CNC game to use bink, was bink 1. Uh, even the Halo the Master Chief collection uses Bink, I think 2.5 as well. The Bink very much still is is uh, is in vogue. It's a lot better now. 
Okay, let's see if we can sneak past. Because we'll get more units as we go. Attack that while the, the sausages are there. There we go, that's more like it. Okay. Let's see if we can... Uh, any units we can capture here. Get away from the barrels. Get away from the from the barrels. Shoot the barrels. There we go. House will be... Ah. <laughs> can you hit that? Can you pop him? Do you have any do you have any weapons at all? You have no weapons at all. We might need to restart. <laughs> oh, you just won't go up there. And you won't attack Okay, you do have weapons, but you won't attack above you, and you won't go up here. So our engineers are still safe. Where do we need to put the engineers? Deviator gas into the oxygen supply in the highliner. Okay, so we've lost everything, so we'll see if we could just, like, rush... I don't even know what the Highliner is. I guess this is the Highliner? Will you rush? Can we bum rush it with you? No, we're gonna have to go that way, and the vehicle won't go up there. I'll need to play again and be more careful, because I messed up a lot. I wonder games will switch over to something like Webm. Hmm. I don't know. Is Webm that that decent? Oh, now you'll attack. <laughs> but you can't go up any further. Okay, Engies, it is up to you. Oh, we have one mortar infantry. Okay. Okay. The rum has started to hit. <laughs> okay. Now I'm good. Right, so we need to get over here. Get the engines in that. We have one rocket infantry, two engineers, and I'm starting to become inebriated. So this will be interesting. Guild Highliners are the big ships from the movies. Okay, got it. Ooh, these coffin things are, are crates. Aha! Okay. Imperial Sardorka. I think that's how it's pronounced. I keep asking every single time, but I think I've got it. The spice rum flowing out. <laughs> Basically. Okay. Hit it. Nice. Now we need to go up here. There we go. Whoop. Okay. Whoop. There we go. <laughs> Mouse went nuts there. He says, trying to divert from the fact that he's drunk. <laughs> Spice rum must flow. I didn't think of this. Someone said in chat when I mentioned I was drinking spiced rum. Oh, because it's spice. I did not think of that at all. I take no credit for that pun. It was not intended. Okay. Hit him. There we go. Okay, we'll zoom out because, like, scrolling is nuts. When we zoomed in. You get in there. We got one engineer. The plan has succeeded. Blow these up. Bam. Nice. Fantastic. MPEG format, format is less demanding, but it would take more space and wasn't geared towards compressing games cutscenes unless you use a specific matrix or something. Bink was and licensing wasn't a problem here. And the um the compression ratio for Bink was pretty especially Bink 2.5. If you look at the uh the backgrounds FMVs in uh in Halo MCC, uh, just like for the background of the menu, the compression is really, really good given the uh the file size. Cement mixer cocktail. <laughs> <laughs> Again, your performance is acceptable. I see what you mean. Like, it's just like wigs on her shoulders. Your contract will not be utilized at this time. Sa Saduka. Must be that's a I'm afraid that's a new one. <laughs> I've heard like three or four different variants now. Sacrifice from Shiny. I've never heard that. Sorry. <laughs> Don't drink in Dune. It's clear that we are not to trade with the other. To do so would be a violation of contract. 
Something else, hello. House X. Oh, so House X were originally going to be in Dune 2, but they changed it to House Ordos. X would have been the third faction, apparently. The third playable faction. Infiltrators. A counter technology that will expose any type of enemy stealth. Group. Uncompressed video just devours here on. Oh, uh, yeah. Still does. As well. uh, like, I have the um, the channel the Patreons purely to that. Oh, look at this animation here. Look at that. <laughs> That's amazing. The virus um, I have the channel Patreons to thank purely for keeping the channel afloat for the last um, uh, hard drive I bought was 14 terabytes. It's already over half full, and it is primarily filled with FMVs, like CNC FMVs. Uncompressed video is enormous. So do Nukem. No one can pronounce it, yeah. Lone Ranger, good afternoon. Consider your options carefully. You got it, lass. Right. Issue attack orders. Okay, so we fought against... Uh, it wasn't a Atreides, was it, last time? It was a Traders, maybe? I don't know. A Traders. Ooh. Sacrifice, one of my favourite RTS ever, unfortunately turned obs uh, obscure. I Yeah, I've never heard Sacrifice, I don't think. 18 terabytes network attached. Yeah, video is big. Like I've got a, a a whole series of um of of hard drives just to keep up with editing, and uh, the fourteen terabyte is the new one is is the biggest. I have a network one which is eight terabyte, which is purely backup. Uh, yeah, video is big. Right, and I've been going through like upscaling. Like um, I think the. Tiberium Sun and Firestorm upscale project added about a terabyte just in and of itself, maybe two. Just video, Raptor, just video is enormous. Alright. This is a big Harkonnen area. A Sarkador activity in the region occupied by Harkonnen forces. Weak attacker. No data on installations. Area is currently uncharted. Sounds difficult. The rum really is hitting right now. Difficulty 43%. This alliance may pose a threat to our expansion. Asada Cargola has been obtained. Oh, you're getting into AI scaling as well. Yeah, I'm using Topaz Labs as well. Uh, but yeah, it is it is very time consuming. The outcome is worth it though. 18 terabyte just go ape shit. <laughs> Right. Okay. Alliance might pose a threat. Sadako Gola has been obtained to assist in the capture of this territory. Lead the Sadako against our enemy. They will deliver the territory to us. Got it. The sheer scale of YouTube servers and such. Uh, the, I've seen the numbers and they terrify me. Okay, what are you? A cobra. Alright. Where's our Gola? No one's in the APC. Got rockets and gas infantry. Can you attack? Yeah, you can. Okay, you're a pretty cool tank. Cool. Let's have a scout around then. We got music playing, hopefully. Video takes up so much damn space. Yes. We'll be notified when it... So I guess the Gola will arrive when, with the Sardauka later. Because I'm not seeing the Sardauka... Uh, I'm not seeing the Gola in our forces that we have right now. All right, let's find the spice first. Money, please. Where are you off? Do you have a particular range you like? Or is stuff in the way? Deploying the Cobra. What, now? Oh, I see. It's like a, a TS Juggernaut. Got it. Thanks for the heads up. One you can ever watch. If you watch 16... Yeah. We'll load every day. Yeah. Like, the, those stats, I've, I've, I can't recite them off, uh, off by heart, but I've seen the stats, and they are crazy. 
So we've got spice here. Okay, so this is slightly, slightly discolored, this spice here, isn't it? It's slightly less orange. Okay, so we can use this area here. Okay, MCV, you go over there. You dudes have... You continue scouting. Probably petabytes per day, yeah. Which is just insane to think about, right? You guys are not friendly. But you're still just running past, so I'll leave you. Oh no, you're coming into the base here. And who's this? Oh, there's the Gola. We got the Gola here. <laughs> it's like hiding here. Okay. You weren't there when, when I uh, when I got past. I don't like the way that reinforcements just like pop up with very little warning. It's like you're busy doing other things than reinforcements appear. At least TikTok videos are short. Um Engel, yes, I am on Windows 10. It is a little bit tricky, but uh, in our Discord server link below, we have a setup guides channel for um, for the we have guides for these all the CMC games and Dune games for setup. This game is the most involved. Actually, I think um, uh, CMC Generals might be the most involved. Uh, but yeah, unfortunately, because the game is abandoned, where you kind of have to. Uh, to say improvise a bit. There's no legal way to get the game other than like buy the the old physical CDs, and even then, like I have the physical CDs and they didn't work. The main thing is you need um, a fixed installer.exe. I think it's like installer.exe or setup.exe on uh, the my abandoned web page for this game. You've got all the extra downloads you you need to get the game working. Where do we need to put the goaler? Persuade the Sardauka troops to attack the Harkonnen base. You'll be notified when they arrive. You must not allow the enemy to kill the Gola. Okay, we'll keep the Gola alive. We are looking for the Sardauka. Sarduka. Sardorka. <laughs> Whatever. It does not reach this. Okay. We don't know where they are yet. Okay, we'll just protect. We'll keep our units near the base to protect the base. A Sardaukar force has been detected. Ooh, okay. They have been detected now. So we need to find where they are. Get the Gola to them. Extra ref pad, yes, please. This rum is really hitting me right now. It's factory. Oh, okay. I've slammed the last of the rum. The Sardaukar have arrived. Utilize the roller. Whoa, okay, and <laughs> and in doing so miss the buzz source. Okay. That is the imperative. Repair this please. We're attacking the building which is being repaired, so the units are not being damaged. Aha! The goal must be protective, this is imperative. Supposed to rendezvous with this location. Where is the commander? Ready. Okay. Ah, we got some reinforcements. Okay, good. You guys escort this bugger over here, please. A sort of guff force has been deployed. The last words a tree's ever heard. <laughs> okay, we'll put the factory here. Drunk CNC4 already. Yep. Yup. Ah, they're not too far away. Okay. Fantastic stuff. It's a bit weird seeing like oil derricks on a on Arrakis. I don't know if it's specifically for oil. It doesn't say. Okay, we can now get tanks. So we're gonna get laser tanks. They're pretty good. Loads of laser tanks. Uh oh, get these guys back. Oh no, these are re these are my reinforcements. Okay, never mind. Reinforcements have arrived from. Okay, don't don't give me the actual name because I won't know it. <laughs> Where is the Gola? Where is he? 
Is that the goal? I don't think so. Ah, no, no, he's here. He's here. Okay, good. Okay, good. Okay, we have... We have the Sarduka now. Let's get another ref pad. Oh my god, as a trial run for the uh, the CNC4 stream. Oh boy. Oh boy, I'm a lightweight. Whoa, okay, there's a tornado. Let's see if we can avoid that. Let's get these... Okay, good, we've got some extra units. Okay, let's see if we can sneak past this. No, it's just going around. Through here then, through here. Avoid the tornado. Construction started. Bear in mind the, the drinking game for CNC4 is going to be every single time the character's wife appears. So, yeah. <laughs> That's going to be fun. Not the same engine as Generals, no. This is... Uh, Emperor was developed by Intelligent Games, a British company which helped with um, uh, the Red Alert expansion's multiplayer maps. I, I previously erroneously said that... Um... Okay, so these guys are a CNC... Uh, uh, AI CPU con controlled. I, I previously erroneously said that um, Emperor... No, not Emperor. The ROM is really hitting hard right now. <laughs> that Intelligent Games made the Red Alert 1 expansions. They only made the multiplayer maps, apparently. But they did help with Red Alert 1. Uh, Intelligent Games also developed Dune 2000 and Emperor Battle for Dune. And I was going somewhere with that. Oh my god, I'm a lightweight. <laughs> oh my god, I'm a lightweight. No, don't build that. Okay, I am officially drunk right now. We have vehicles. <laughs> okay, we've got vehicles. Where was I going with that? Sorry, yeah, not the same engine. Um, so yeah, this game runs on the Xanadu engine. Uh, whereas Generals, I think Renegade onwards, I'm not sure if there's a... Um, I think there's a game actually before General, uh, before Renegade. The Westwood, that was in the Westwood 3D engine that uh, eventually Generals used and the EA LA games used as well. This game does not run on that engine. It runs on the Xanadu engine developed by uh, Intelligent Games. Uh, it also made Lego Loco, which I think, since it was the last game they developed before Dune 2K, might have been the uh, might have run on the same engine as uh, as as Lego Loco. <laughs> Wind traps. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm drunk. I'll be honest, the last five minutes I don't remember at all. <laughs> I have no recollection of the last five minutes. <laughs> Katie, no, this is not on the Sage engine. This is the Xanadu en engine. Get something to eat. I, I'm out. I've, I've, com I've uh, emptied my glass. I am. I'm not drinking anymore. I'm fine. And it wasn't too much to begin with. I'm just that much of a lightweight. Would you call a Sardu again? Easy if I were to Sardu. <laughs> Moss Lady Hunter, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm that much of a lightweight. One glass, that's all it takes. Oh my god, the CNC4 stream is going to be bad. Oh my god, here comes some Arcona. <laughs> okay, I think I'm sobering now, but the, yeah, the last five or ten minutes are a complete just mess. I think I was on autopilot this whole time. I'm starting to sober now, maybe. Generals was on the... I, I'm not sure whether it was called Sage yet, or whether it was still Westwood 3D, but yes. It's basically the same engine lineage. This is a completely different engine. Well, Lego, uh, Lego Loco. Um, was, I think, the game that, that this same company developed before Dune 2K. I must not be a beer as the mine color. Oh, I'm not a good role model. 
Okay, I've added this the harvester to the to the same. Okay, there we go. Got the harvester off the uh, the same command group. Okay, so Harkonnen is up in this direction. Okay, here's Harkonnen. Things are kind of a blur, but I'm starting to sober a little bit. I think. Lucified, yes, the Scenes Evil stream will be a real thing around I, somewhere between mid-March and the 1st of April. We will definitely do a uh, Scenes Evil stream. Yeah, this rum really... This spiced rum really snuck up on me. The spiced rum really did flow. Okay, the last thing I remember was about 14 minutes ago, looking at the uh, the time codes. <laughs> this is why I don't... Like, generally, I do not drink. I do not drink at all. This is this is an outlier, what we're doing today, just for fun. <laughs> Reminds me of C uh, Relit 3 a little bit. I can kind of see it, actually, yeah. I guess with, like... Uh, each unit being a little like you, you don't need you don't need as many units. Rotor three very much went in the direction of fewer units required, um, which kind of added to like um, micromanagement. Whereas the older CNC games, uh, the games in, in the classic CNC lin lineage were more so they do like just like one thing. Um, they fill their niche and you can like, like blob up a little bit. Where, whereas Red Alert 3 was a bit more inspired by StarCraft. By the feel. Because it was definitely like... Of the CNC games, Red Alert 3 was definitely a lot more... Um, competitively viable. Even though it felt very different compared to the, the other CNC games. Uh, less so like a CNC game itself and that definitely drew a bit of ire but it was still a good game and very much a good competitive game in terms of rts uh, i'm saying that as a non-competitive rts player it feels that way i might be wrong right i'm gonna just destroy this base drunk what am i doing <laughs> cnc4 isn't real it doesn't exist <laughs> I love, by the way, that, that that became, like, a big joke in the CNC community. CNC4 isn't real, it doesn't exist, pretend it doesn't exist. And then there was pushback from people like, okay, this joke has gone on too far. Too many people have said this joke is not funny. And then there was the Amaz uh, interview with Joe Kukan. And Joe made the same joke. And then all the pushback against the joke died off immediately following that interview. I'm drunking their pace. Okay, we're going to save. We're going to be sensible and save. Auto's chapter 2, save. Yeah, there we go. It is not a joke. I think I beat scenes 4 just to say I did, or maybe I just watched the final cutscene on YouTube. <laughs> Since, since he got desperate to stay relevant after the genre was dominated by Stra by StarCraft. Absolutely it did. And that was kind of a problem with... Um, CNC3 felt a bit different. It was basically developed by the same team that did um, Battle for Middle-Earth. And there were a, th a few things kept over from Battle, from, uh, Battle for Middle-Earth. But it was mainly Red Alert 3 that felt like it was, it was focusing on... Let's see if we can get this game competitive. And that's why it felt the most different from the old CNC games. And CNC4, obviously, the most... Was it um, Hearts of Iron that, that CNC4 was, was chasing after? With its, like, Royal points capture system? The Sardaukar command structure. They will order attacks upon our enemies. You have been supplied with extra Gola officers. Use them to assume control of any Sardaukar attack squads you encounter. The Sardaukar are impressed with our... Competitive RTS ruined the genre. Yeah, it kind of ruined the in the entire genre, not just like... Because I, you know, if you play it, it, it competitively, for instance, Red Alert 3 is, is definitely a, a good game to play. But, um... We want to hear a joke, yeah. <laughs> 
Yes, it's been removed from Steam. The, the servers are still up. Last I checked, you can still play the game. Kane is the ultimate authority, yeah. So we can send our Gola units to to assume commands of Sardorka uh, forces. I might have to make this the last mission because we that rum hit me a lot harder than I was expecting. They have ordered a Whew, our okay. Use the Golas to assume control of the Sardorka. So the music going and ref pad. Yes, please. Tribute to Evil. Oh, this is a good track. Factory. I hope I'm not embarrassing myself too much. Okay, we've got this. We've got Fog of War rather than Shroud. So is this the same map? Not sure where anyone is. In before this is another two hour. <laughs> the Spice Drum inspire visions of a future fallen empire and your destiny within it. Good run and good run. <laughs> Spiced rum during a Dune playthrough. This was a bad idea, wasn't it? Oh my god, the, the CNC Force uh, drunk stream is going to be awful. It's going to be awful. We can tell already. <laughs> CNC Force had some really bad unit designs. Um, I would actually agree. Uh... This is something I'm interested in looking at because Rivals actually had some some decent unit designs, and I can't really remember if, if CNC4 had any any that were that were good. Okay, they, those are like civilian things. Yeah, I think we've been on this map already. Okay, Sadoka is over there. Where's the Gola? Okay, there's the Gola, I think. Can't quite tell, but they got the flag, and I think that means they're a Gola. Yes! Okay. We can take command of those fellas. Okay, factory. We don't actually have a factory already, do we? We do have... <laughs> we already have a factory. Okay, good thing I checked. We'll get laser tanks. Now... Can we get another rough pad? We have two rough pads already. Three is good. We'll just wait for the goalers to catch up. No one on the minimap. Good. <laughs> Drunk enough to praise CNC arrivals. No, but seriously, some of the, the rivals units were decently designed. CNC4, I can't say that. They were way too cartoony. Given that Red Alert 3 was the last game they, um, uh, they developed. And it worked for Red Alert 3. Uh, because Red Alert 3 is a bit more cartoony, the Tib universe doesn't work with, with cartoony units. Um, and that's why CNC 4's units designs didn't really work. The main one that, the interesting one for Rivals was the, the, the Rock Worm. I love that it was tentatively a shout, uh, a shout out, a callback to the, the Dune games. And to Tibson with its... Uh, it's subterranean units, but at the same time, it doesn't really make sense. It's it's definitely a bit too cartoony. Um, so when I did the video on, on the tentative CNC four, if we were to rewrite that game and, and like retcon it, I, I can't remember if I mentioned the Rockworm, but it's it, it's an interesting unit. It was onto something. It was a bit too cartoony. It was a bit too silly. But something like that could still work for Nod if done a bit more seriously, if done a bit more in the vicinity of uh, of, of TS's style of of, um, of subterranean units. That could work. Right. What is the objective? Okay. So we we have a, there might be more Sadoka to uh, to assume control of agents with. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Just mention of, of of attacking enemies. We haven't found the, I guess, a trade's base yet. I'm not sure which who we, who we were against. I've forgotten already. Cartoony is definitely more suited to Red Alert. I 
Ah, some fellas over here. We'll wait for the... Okay, you guys can attack first, because you're anti-infantry. Whoa, okay, and there's some vehicles. And you just squash all my gas dudes. <laughs> we have one goal left. We'll keep them on the same group. We can actually destroy that. <laughs> this is from me, you are than <laughs> This is the first time I've ever drunk alcohol on a stream. And it will be the only time I ever do it, apart from the CNC4 stream. That will be the only other time I do this. The Kodiak in 4. Yeah, to be fair, it wasn't too bad. Okay, so there's another group of Sadoka over here. Okay, here's here's the Harkonnen. And there's a Sadoka. Okay, we'll... we'll We'll reconnoiter with the Saduka force here. See if we can capture them while we're right next to the base. Yes, we can. Okay. We might have enough, actually, to take the base here. Let's see if we can. There we go. Tank. So we've used our two golas. Get that guy. We can actually take the base here. Okay, there's a factory, is that? No, that's a rest. Where's the factory? There's a barracks. What's this? There's the factory. Okay, we get the barracks first because they can get infantry out faster. There we go. And then the factory. And then we have their base. Fantastic. Marvelous stuff. You have the attention box, yeah. It's uh, it's running at a higher frame rate because of the because uh, its computer is a lot faster than the game was built for, and and some older games are are a bit like that, like it's not locked. Fantastic. Love the Tiberium life forms from Tips and Floaters. Yeah, they are especially creepy. Euro's Revenge campaigns, we will probably play Euro's Revenge next. I might do one more stream of Emperor for um, the uh, the start of the Harkonnen campaign. And then the next game we play will most likely be Euro's Revenge. That was a bit fast, yeah. Come on. <laughs> Yeah, these arrows are a lot, a lot faster than they should be. Right, I might actually call it here. Uh, okay, trade's computer term. We'll start the next mission. We'll, we'll just watch through this this FMV and we might call it here. Recent performance. I believe that the great ones will find it to be satisfactory. You should be aware, however, that transmission accepted. Ooh, I now are these are these shots from the film itself? Yeah, Emperor. Um, I am on Windows 10. Uh, Emperor is quite involved. You need to replace the install.exe or setup.exe, one of those things, in disk one before you install it. Um, the Discord channel, uh, the, the Discord server for this channel is linked below, with a setup guides channel uh, how to inst uh, how to get running this CNC and Dune games. Uh, so you've got some links and guides in the Discord server link below. It's a bit more involved, but you need to you, you need to uh, rip the disk one and replace one of the files in it with a patched version to get it to run. Relic 2 and Euro's Revenge. Uh, same again. We have the the uh, the server link below. The Relic 2 and, and Euro's Revenge games are also linked there. You need the... So the, the best way of getting it, there are other ways as well, but the best way of getting Relic 2 and Euro, Euro's Revenge to, uh, to run are to get the games as part of the Ultimate Collection on Origin, then get the CNC Net 
launcher, which is mainly made for multiplayer, but in, it includes compatibility patches for Red Alert 2 and Euro's Revenge base games as well. Um, so if you got the Ultimate Collection, just get CNC Net Euro's Revenge launcher, and that should be most of the compatibility patches that you need. Uh, if you if you run into any issues with that game or the freeware versions of Tib Dawn, Red Alert 1, or Tib Sun, which are the recommended versions of those games, uh, also linked below, um, go to those games' directories and run the config.exe or for Red Alert 2, the cncyrlauncher.exe and try a different graphics renderer. And that was difficult to say while drunk. <laughs> right, I think I really need to call it here because that rum hit me way harder than I was expecting. Oh, bloody hell. So we just had a save before that. Uh, next time we play should be this weekend. I won't... I'll be back on the tea. I won't be drinking. I've never drunk alcohol on stream before. And I probably will only do it again for... For CNC4. Oh, this was a bad idea. Well, I hope it's been entertaining. <laughs> yes, I'm going to get, get something to eat immediately. Retro games nowadays requires a degree in reverse engineering, yeah. Um, but so many games, uh, so many people have, uh, which is like, with a passion for these these old games, have a lot of, of patches and, and guides like this that keep these games running, which is just phenomenal. Um, yeah, so next time we play, we will likely resume Emperor Battle for June with the Harkonnen campaign, which we, we haven't started yet. Uh, after that, we'll probably start Euro's Revenge, and then we'll see where we go from there. Right, I have drunk too much, too much spiced rum, and I'm going to call it here before I embarrass myself any further. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this has been fun. Uh, I'm not sure whether I'll watch the vod to see how uh, see how embarrassing I've been. <sighs> anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope, hope you've enjoyed. Take care, everyone, and we'll see you in the next one. And we'll go to uh, to Fubar. We'll say hello to our our, our co-streamer, uh, OBS. Hi, chat. And end stream. Cheers, everyone. Take care, and we'll see you in the next one. I've embarrassed myself today, haven't I? <laughs> Tell her. Oh, God. Okay, yeah. Alice is going to find this, isn't she? <laughs> Cheers, everyone. See you in the next one.